Hello everyone, my name is Danny and today I'm going to be giving you my Project Cars 2 4 minute review. If I had to explain Project Cars 2 with one phrase, it simply would be this. A truly amazing racing game with endless possibilities. In Project Cars 2, there really is no limit of tracks, cars, and weather combinations that can be tweaked and twisted to your heart's content. There really is no limitations on what you can drive or where you can drive it. Add to that mix truly stunning visuals and you have the ingredients for what I would call one of the best racing games to date. Now you may notice that I keep referring to Project Cars 2 as a game and not a simulation. This is because in my opinion Project Cars 2 will fall a little short if you are hoping for or expecting the title to be a full on simulation. After much testing I have found the physics to be slightly more forgiving than one would expect for a full on racing sim. However, I don't find this to take away from the title at all, since I get the impression after playing that the developers intended this game to fall into the fun Simcade category and not necessarily the full-on simulation. Even still, Project Cars 2 comes with a solid physics model, much improved over its predecessor Project Cars 1, and as with any typical racing title, you can turn off the assists that are built into the game to make it more difficult. Also, in both graphics display and graphics performance, Project Cars 2 is a huge step up from Project Cars 1, and in my opinion, currently, this is the most optimized racing game available for VR user markets today. The perfect implementation of static, non-moving menus inside the headset keeps you from getting nauseous before you even enter the race. And then when inside the race, Project Cars 2 smoothly draws frames with ease, even with a full grid of cars racing at night under a torrential downpour. Now I will mention that this will highly depend on your system specs, but if you currently can run iRacing or Assetto Corsa with decent results in VR, then you can expect to get even better results out of Project Cars 2. Also it should be noted that triple screen support has officially been added to the title as well. Project Cars 2 supports and automatically recognizes all sorts of device inputs, controllers to wheels to standalone shifters, and it immediately recognized everything I tried to throw at it. Navigating through the menus, the settings, and more importantly the car selection screen is much faster and much improved than Project Cars 1. That was one of the biggest gripes I had with the original title. Admittedly, the AI drivers could use some work, but if you avoid entering turn 1 3 wide, everyone typically comes out unscathed on the other side, even if it may be ugly. I am sure they will regularly update the AI and get them fine tuned, but even still at the moment they work fine for single player use. I cannot report on the multiplayer gameplay just yet, as I have not dived into that round. I do plan on doing a full review on just the multiplayer side as the developers have implemented many new features to improve multiplayer playability. A new I rating system and a broadcaster setting are just two of the many things added into the mix that I want to take a look at in further detail. Even if you are the most hardcore sim racer, if you have not picked up a copy of Project Cars 2, you are truly missing out. If you enjoyed this review, remember to drop a like down below and remember to subscribe as well if you are not. Thanks, and we will see you in the next video.